Hi everyone. So recently I saw this article and it got me thinking, how much do the wider general public actually know about electric vehicles? Could this be an opportunity for my channel to discuss whether there's some truth in some of the rumours that go around? Or are they in fact just a myth driven by news outlets with their own agendas? I suspect that most that are subscribed to this channel have good knowledge on this, but it feels like at times the EV propaganda machine is everywhere, and maybe with everything considered, the world shouldn't be making the switch to everything electric after all. In this series I aim to get to the truth and answer some of the most common questions when it comes to EVs. Stay tuned for more. The first electric vehicles were invented in the 1880s before the internal combustion engine took over and went mainstream. Electric cars then resurfaced around 1990 with the invention of the EV1. This was developed from the ground up by GM, had a range of 80 miles and could accelerate to 50 miles per hour in about 7 seconds. The high production cost of the car ultimately meant it was not viable for GM and it almost completely disappeared over time. A relatively new company by the name of Tesla then introduced the Model S around 2008 which followed the pricier Tesla Roadster and it's only recently that EVs have managed to gain global traction amongst a wider audience. The first rechargeable lithium ion battery was first invented in 1974 by the British chemist Stanley Whittingham but before then NASA had carried out research in the 60s. This technology is now commonplace in some of the devices you use on a daily basis such as laptops, tablets and phones and of course in electric vehicles. In this particular video I'm going to ask the question as to whether we are ever likely to need to change the batteries in our electric vehicles as the lifespan might not last as long as what the car does. We've all seen our batteries degrade in our iPhones over a couple of years so why would electric cars not do the same thing? I mentioned the Tesla Model S earlier on. We've now had Model S's on our road since 2008, so there's around 15 years of information and data on this subject now. It's estimated that this EV loses around 5% of its battery capacity in its first 50,000 miles. So in some of the earlier Model S's, for example, that would have had around 240 miles of range, they would have lost up to 12 miles in the first 50,000 miles. After this, though, the range of depletion appears to slow dramatically. Consumer Reports did a study that backs this up in 2020, and they estimated that an EV battery pack should last over 200,000 miles without ever needing to be replaced. This will likely mean that for most people, the battery pack will outlast the car itself. There are also multiple reports of Tesla drivers reaching 500,000 miles off the same battery pack now. Some of the latest battery packs in development estimate that they could reach up to 4 million miles. The warranty that manufacturers now offer on battery packs also give us some clues to how long they think they will last. Tesla, Kia and many others now offer an 8 year warranty with or 100,000 mile warranty on the batteries as a minimum which is longer than some internal combustion engine cars offer. This suggests that the manufacturer thinks that the majority of the batteries will last way longer than this and is unlikely to ever need replacing amongst most of the cars. Now of course it'll be the odd occasion where a battery pack will fail due to a technical or hardware issue and require a full replacement in the same way that internal combustion engine could go wrong and it needs a new full engine block as well. But to give some perspective on this, Nissan estimated that they would need to replace 20% of the batteries in their early Leafs but it's only reportedly replaced 0.001% of these covered. There are also ways you can prolong the life of the battery in your EV as well by following some of the manufacturer's guidelines. It's generally recommended not to charge your EV on a daily basis if possible. When you do so, charge at lower speeds and only charge up to around 80% for most battery types. Although there are some modern batteries which will charge up to 100% with no issues every day. So be sure to check this with the manufacturer. I think the public also need to bear in mind that really EVs have only been around for the last 10 to 15 years in the mainstream. And it's only recently where significant amounts of money have been spent on research and development in this area. By comparison, internal combustion engines have been around since the late 1800s and have had about 150 years of development over that time. Imagine what we can do with 150 years of development for electric vehicles. The technology will only continue to get better, more reliable battery packs, and lighter battery packs with a higher energy density as well. It's also likely that as battery recycling improves and the technology continues to improve, that less and less rare earth metals will be used in battery packs. Battery packs can also be reused after the end of the life cycle in an EV as well and can then be used for home storage batteries for example or grid storage and at the end of that life can then be recycled completely and reused again. The future is exciting. What if the worst happens and you do need to replace your battery pack from your EV out of warranty? What would it cost you? While the price of battery packs have fallen dramatically and continue to do so, it's estimated that in 2010 when battery replacement packs were really rare that a new pack would cost £763 per kilowatt hour. This would have made an 80 kilowatt hour battery from a Tesla, for example, £61,000, an eye water in silver money. In 2021, however, that price had fallen to £87 per kilowatt hour, equating to around £7,000 for the same pack. As of March 2023, 
A replacement battery pack is estimated to cost around £5,300. Book My Garage has done some estimated costs on this based on the £87 per kilowatt hour price and selecting the smallest battery pack available in that model, which I have shown on screen now. This does not include removal and fitting costs, but has the Audi e-tron pack at 6194 Mercedes EQC at 7395 and a Tesla Model 3 at 5220 to give a couple of examples. So in conclusion, are we likely to ever need to replace our battery packs in our electric vehicles? Probably not, no. I can't say it's a total myth, as full replacements will happen in the same way internal combustion engines are replaced at the moment, if something goes really wrong. But it's very unlikely, and it's even more unlikely that it'll happen outside the manufacturer's 8 year or 100,000 mile warranty. I suspect at that point the car would be about the end of its useful life anyway and will be scrapped in the same way that an internal combustion engine car would. The technology is still relatively young in terms of product maturity and will only continue to get better and better. And the price of the battery packs are coming down very, very quickly and going forward will be likely easier to replace than a fiddly internal combustion engine with many moving parts. If you have an electric vehicle and you've had experience of having replaced battery packs or where you had one that needs doing, Please let me know in the comments, I'd be interested to hear. Also, if there's any other common EV topics that you would like me to cover in this series, just let me know. I hope you found this useful. If you did, it'd be great if you could subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.